have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. And if you have something that's going on in your life right now that's challenging, Reminder to take a little bit better care of yourself. Because you're worth it. You can have this feeling anytime you choose. That that is what I'll be doing after this. Like at 4:30, I'll be going downtown and having an interview with her and Dave Holly from the uh, the Holly Hour. But, the Dave Holly Hour. But the whole meeting itself, though, like the Survivor Task Force, like what is that? So that one. So I've got I've got the tap room with my artwork and then that one I donated artwork to that one is um, they're raising money to support this um, awareness to help domestic violence sex trafficking children oh. misplaced and affected by different types of abuse to innocent people and so when they were like hey we're looking for artists to donate paintings I was like Hell yeah. Of course. Here. Big time. Here's one of my biggest ones. It, let me know if a smaller one would be better. And they're like, no, 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 we'll take anything. So I gave her one of my larger ones. Because um, I was like, yeah, I'll totally support that. Yeah. I don't want to give all my artwork free, but it's kind of hard for me not to be like a silent auction. If you can benefit from it, I right. feel better about my art going that way. Right. Um, and so... Then and just, that's kind of what it's there for, too. Yeah. You know? Um, so yeah, she reached out, the, the the director of that studio art studio downtown, she reached out and I think she had a great turnout of people donating stuff for the Good. silent auction. And it's not necessarily just artists and their originals, it's like, you had something in your house you have no home for sure. anymore, you replaced it. Could have been something that you bought at at home store. Yeah. So, she's got a variety of like, price ranges has, so has that auction already happened it'll then? be first friday so that's why we're doing that interview first, that'll be first friday this friday may 6th okay yeah it'll be the 6th if this today is the first and that is when the auction mm -hmm. is so how would a person go about bidding uh, you just show up where is it at again um i can send you the information but it's the van art studio on phillips and it's by wells fargo oh, like okay. further north on phillips than like the heat of all of the popular bars and stuff like that dude that is i mean did you have i mean first of all like wow <laughs> that's amazing but like when you chose what you were going to give to them did you have like a little bit of a different approach as to like which one like did you have a personal preference because of the the subject matter um i like this one because it had a lot of white space a lot of my stuff sometimes has a lot of color and i liked the openness of it and it just seemed like a lighter piece yeah for something that is could be associated to something very heavy and dark and wow. like a lot of people don't even want to read into these type of articles of what's happening to people that they have no connection to because it makes them feel bad and they don't want to associate to those right. bad icky feelings so i wanted something bright and uplifting make them feel better right. for what they're donating I, I think it's all about context you know it's all about how you you talk to them because um i try to always remind myself like you know don't just like let the wind blow you around it's fine to have that happen but like you know um with like art for example don't just like be the blank canvas where all of the things that are happening throughout the day becomes that piece of artwork don't mm -hmm. be the tire scuffs and the banana peel like mm -hmm. you know f figure out what the f you want like turquoise sounds great you know yeah. that's and not you're not gonna be able to have the energy to do that every day so i don't like want to be that person that's grandstand stuff in it uh, i even bought like a stand and a halo and it's a lot of work getting that set up and I even have like a stop motion type remote to go with it so when I'm working I can just click it and go but editing that down for like short little videos that reels where people would want to watch it mm -hmm. it's hard but if I don't keep working on them they won't get better so yeah and what really sucks is like because when I first started doing reels I had instant gratification of like oh wow these are popping off and mm -hmm. like I'm getting a lot of good feedback and then eventually you know because you don't know exactly what is going to land yeah because you can only post at least for me 
uh, it's always whatever I like uh -huh. and not everyone else is always going to like that. Yeah. So when I had a few videos that went off a little bit, I was like, okay, cool. I got to capitalize on this. And I would think that it would land and it just wouldn't. Yeah. Like, why am I creating this? You know, it yeah. kind of takes the wind out of you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's kind of when artwork, when you are creating a piece and you're trying to make it more commercialized, you'll hate it every time. <laughs> yeah. You know, like if you're trying to paint something for something, this is bittersweet with commissions like commissions feel like a giant roadblock for me yeah I get requests and sometimes I do them and sometimes I don't um, but I really struggle because I'm like you know when I sell an art piece that I've created on my own time with my own thoughts and with whatever is going on in my life at that moment that's great and you come across it and you're like dude I love that piece that's yeah. great I feel really great but now that I'm creating for a commission piece, all these insecurities happen because I'm like, oh, what are they going to question the composition? Are they going to hate the colors I chose? Are they going to do whatever? I'm overthinking the process and it's less enjoyable. Though my last one that I did, which was a huge piece that was like, like a field of flowers kind of, it looked like poppies or whatever. Yeah. I love that piece, but there was still in the back of my mind, would they like that piece? This is a, a dumb story and it kind of relates. So like my favorite rapper of all time is Childish Gambino, Donald Glover from... Yeah, okay. he's a child, yeah. Oh God. So... He's great. He put out Because the Internet and Camp. And I love those two albums more than almost life itself. Um, and then everyone blew up because he's coming out with a new album. And then he came out with Awaken My Love. And the album cover was amazing. And everyone had really liked um, the song Redbone. And there were no bars on that album. There was no rapping whatsoever. It was all reverb and auto tune and like uh, Nigerian, like folk pop. It was just the, like, I remember being like, okay, I am creating new boundaries with Childish Gambino now because yeah. like, you know, this is not what I had signed up for. That album's about four or five years old now. Mm -hmm. I look back on it and I listen to it and I do enjoy it now because I'm not going into it with the same expectations I had had before. Uh, because what, what Donald Glover was able to do is be like, you know, I made those two albums because that's what I wanted to make at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make number three because you want me to make number three. I'm making one of one and that's just my brand. And if you're not, if you don't get it, then you don't get it and you're not going to buy it. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. I've been able to stick with him long enough to like go full circle and be like oh awaken my love is really f good yeah. it's just you know i think for the, the moral of the story is if someone commissions you they need to know that they're not gonna get something off the shelf they they, yeah. they, they get the crystal experience yeah absolutely Ooh, you can hashtag that yeah put a little hyphen in there right get the cry how do you pronounce it Cry style. Get the cry style experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I cry style. I, um, <laughs> some guy in high school wasn't from our school, obviously, because he's, he, I introduced myself and I think I was working like a booth of some sort at the state fair and he's, he thought, and you know, I don't always enunciate very well. <laughs> and he thought I said cry style. Uh, cause I went to spell, cause he's like, your tag looks funny. And I was like, yeah, my, my name is spelt a little differently for yeah. Crystal. Yeah. And he thought he just threw in a second Y in there. And so my name became Cry Style. And I always thought he was just being quirky whenever he's like, Hey, it's Cry Style. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, cool. and, and it just stuck with me because whenever my mom would leave me like a quick note, she wouldn't. She's like, she wouldn't write Crystal do these things. She would write Cry, yeah, cry yeah. do these things, the first three letters of my name. Yeah. And so then that guy started saying Cry Style. And I was like, you know what? That's, I, I kind of dig that. Cry I, Style. Because so, you've always read it in your head that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes more sense for everyone else to say it that way. Yeah. So then I just, you know, lobbed him in half and wrote Cry and then the word Style and, and tagged that for my artwork. Um, not just my name, but like when I'm doing my work, that's for cry style art and cool. stuff like that. Um, Have you done a lot of commissions so far? Um, this year. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have done uh, quite a few in my life. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, 
my dad keeps like my family is the last people I do for like make commissions but my dad's like damn it you need to come down here I want you to paint a mural on my wall and I was like yeah and I was like oh dad that's gonna take a lot of work but I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go all Bob Ross on his wall because it's like (laughs) like a hunting lodge there yeah so I've I've already got my like Bob Ross mural in mind because I do a lot of landscape in floral designs on top of like my abstract stuff that I enjoy how did like you come across getting in touch with Miner um, so being part of a bunch of different groups, uh, they kind of have like a billboard where they do like a post where they're looking for artists to do certain, certain things. And on the visual artist of Sioux Falls, um, the Minor Brewing and Prairie Berry Winery Tap Room was looking for artists to feature in their, um, their tap rooms. Uh, and so I reached out to them and I said, hey, I don't know what your schedule looks like, but I'd be interested. Um, here's some of my pieces. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, and I didn't know what to expect with this. This is the first time I've kind of reached out in a manner like that. Um, and they got back to me right away and they said, yes, we love your artwork. Um, how soon can you set up? Can you come over on Monday? And I was like, like this Monday? Like... <laughs> like in a few days and they're like yeah um but i mean if that's too soon we can work with you on the ninth and i was like okay give me give me about a day to see how i can get all my stuff lined up together and uh and they're like oh by the way we'll also need a artist biography like a little write-up that needs to be posted this needs to happen with your artwork and you need to have gallery tags (laughs) and i was like Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I can get this figured out. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not good. It's going to be good. Uh, and so... And not only did you do all of that, but you also went on to someone's podcast. And then, <laughs> yeah, then I proceeded to go on someone's podcast to talk about this upcoming event that will be happening tomorrow. So they're closed on Mondays. And so this is a great time for them to be like, okay, let's get the artist in and set yeah. it up. Um, and I was like, okay never done this how long are you expecting this to be up and they're like oh we want you from may to august and i was like that's amazing that's great i was anticipating one month maybe i don't know i had no expectations but for them to say we want your art up all summer for our busiest season was really humbling and honored like was so honored about that yeah um so very excited i I think what's like cool is that uh, you're my buddy, but like it's local promoting local. Yeah, absolutely. And I think any opportunity is um, a blessing, but I think that it's a local place that um, you know you and I have both been to. Like mm-hmm. it's it's now surreal that we could walk in there in two days from now and look up and there you are. Right. And I um, was very blessed. Also, I have a friend that was so gun hall of writing this artist bio when I asked her to and she did such a good job it's amazing I think if anything that captures my kind of my my background and my goofy sense of humor and um at the very most if you don't like my artwork my artist bio I think is kind of amusing and it's well written and yeah uh, as I said before we started recording it's a CSI Miami intro right that first sentence is just beautiful and it just does such a a good job and even if you were a rotten person I'd be like absolutely man that's a good writer (laughs) right like it just depends on how you spin things and she's amazing with the written word yeah I'm much better with visual things so uh, you know pimping out my friends for their strength so. (laughs) (laughs) so Sioux Falls South Dakota in minor brewery your artwork will be featured posted and priced yes That is insane. Yeah. And you're in year one of this. Year one. I had a goal to have um, my first art show by the time I'm 40. Got that checked off. Hell yeah. Um, I've been doing, I've been creating artwork since I was 17, but this is my first year for Alcohol Inc. Mm -hmm. So, and pursuing it more passionately. And I can't say necessarily it was the, the medium I'm working with. I think I just hit a point in my life that I said, Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. what, what am I out to lose? Like, people don't like my artwork. That's fine. I still enjoy the process. I still love my artwork. And, it, yeah. and my pieces are selling anyways. Like It's nice I, to get out of routine once in a while. Yeah. And do something that, you know, kind of speaks more to who you are and not so much being distracted by 
the the hot topic of the month and being you know focusing on your own dope yeah like this morning i woke up and i was like it's may 1st yeah. let's make a flower painting <laughs> so because i thought like as a little kid i loved making may day baskets and yeah. it's south dakota it's too cold there's not a single flower blooming we're barely lucky to have grass so i was like screw it i'm gonna paint some flowers today yeah why not oh my gosh i freaking love that have you ever, we talked about this uh, a moment ago, have you ever considered doing like um, some sort of thematic uh, piece or some kind of um, theme that would go along with several pieces of your artwork? Uh, yeah, so I constantly think about different themes I want to do, but unfortunately, like, I'm the type of person that every shiny thing is attracting <laughs> to me. So then I like jump back and forth, but... Um, I so badly, I've done a few pieces, uh, and I want to expand the pieces. I have, um, like, LGBTQ-themed pieces that I love to do, and I want to do more of those pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't, uh, I, you just don't see many pieces like that around, alone in South Dakota. Um, and I love just the different bright, vibrant colors, depending on the little, you know, the alphabet malfoya that you're focusing on. Each flag has different colors and right. stuff. And I thought that would be a very unique and interesting take yeah. on different colors and associating them with the, the medium I'm working with. What's really cool about like, you know, not to just bounce right back to the minor thing, but like, you know, it's important that they are doing this for you because it's so important what you do as far as your influence. Like you can't do what you do unless you have an influence. Mm -hmm. So now that you're going to get to be on this new course mm -hmm. of like, where is this summer going to take us? Who am yeah. I going to meet? Who am I going to talk to? Who's going to buy what? Yeah. Like that is going to set you up for the rest of this year to be on these new journeys and to not have to really force anything mm -hmm. to think of something that you have to do. Cause I think you and I are very similar that way where if I don't have spontaneity, then I don't have creativity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I where is Minor Brewery now? Uh, they're on the backside of uh, the West, like West Mall Seven. Th they still are there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they're between uh, I forget what furniture company is back on that backside, um, but the same side that the movie theater is on and mm. stuff like that. We should get a big sign that says alcohol period painting period. Right? I thought that. I thought like what a cute whimsical like way to incorporate yeah. incorporate like drinking's happening here. Yeah. And so be it. The artwork on the wall is made with alcohol inks. Right. You know, so I thought I was like there it feels like there's some like good possibilities of like tying this in and making it kind of I don't yeah. know tongue in cheek yeah. type of thing. Alcohols, paintings, end of list. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's absolutely. gotta be something there. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. <laughs> It'll come to me in the middle of the night and then I'll like write like I keep a notebook by my debt uh, by my table at my bedroom and I'll write down colors and I'm like great color combinations and I'll be like what is this nonsense about booze and <laughs> alcohol ink? Like what did this even mean? <laughs> I do the same thing, but all I do is write down where is my birth certificate. <laughs> I'm, I remember now. It's 4.30 in the morning. Where's your birth certificate? <laughs> I'm that person. I just do the ABCs for me. And she goes, uh, you know, A, B, A, B. And then uh, I was like, okay, you got to finish it. And then her and I both at the same time, uh, next time, won't you sing with me? Uh -huh. And she's like, she looked at me like, that was nice. But then I immediately stopped it and I was like, did it pick up both of us saying it? <laughs> have you, you haven't seen the new Batman, have you? I did. I did. You did. There's a scene where uh, uh, Batman is looking like like Selena Kyle's like you wouldn't let anything bad happen to me or whatever, and then Batman like gets up and like looks into her eyes. Yep, yes. Uh, contacts look good. <laughs> yeah. You think that this is like gonna have like an intimate moment there? You're right. And and, and she's like. And that's where, like, Zoe Kravitz is just perfect because, like, you know, you can see the anticipata anticipation. You can see the uh, eagerness of, like, and then just, oh. <laughs> oh, that's it. You were 100% work mode and yeah. me being an attractive cat suit meant nothing to you. Yeah. Well, she wasn't even her cat suit in that moment. She, she was, wasn't. She was she Selena. Was in, yeah, she was getting ready to be covert and yeah. see who she can see in the VIP room. Or wow. Room. How many times have you seen it? Once. See, I can't remember that after one viewing. Okay. Well, I saw it 24 hours ago. 
Oh, never mind. Because <laughs> I've been trying to fall, I've been trying to watch it a second time, mm -hmm. and I uh, keep falling asleep with peanuts in my hand. Um, I, I like shells? Are, are you the type that has like the whole shell, and then you're cracking <laughs> no. it open, and then you're like, oh, I can't just throw this on the ground, now I have to have, here, I'll just set it right here in my little pouch of my hoodie. <laughs> I, I don't have a... No, what I, I was trying to say is I was trying to find a snack, and... I literally slid off the couch. I had an open jar of peanuts and I was watching the Batman and I swear to God, I was like this and I just, uh, and I just started falling off the couch and what woke me up was all the peanuts going everywhere. <laughs> and you know what I did then, Crystal? Ate went, the peanuts off the ground. Then went back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm calling it. I woke I'm up not at, even going to fight it right now. Yeah, I woke up at four in the morning and I just woke up Kate and I was just like, there was a peanut accident in the living room. I'll clean it up tomorrow. And she's like, what? And I'm like, go back to bed. <laughs> so thank you yeah. so much. Because it's I hate podcasts because it's like, I have to say goodbye to you, but it's like, I'm not going to say goodbye to you. I'm going to talk to you for like another 10 minutes after this. Right, absolutely. Over. I know. So, I guess say goodbye to everybody else then. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs>